This is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the main event. Ronnie Coleman and Dr. Phil, Phil Heath. There is no bigger matchup than this. So we have collaborated with Mikey from Mikey Strength and Fitness. He used to be Mikey Strength and Fitness. He's Mikey from Mikey's Iron Rage now. But you can tell there's a little bit of a derogatory tone in my voice because he... He thinks Ronnie Coleman is better than Phil 2011. Can you imagine that? But anyway, a lot of you guys agree. Actually, more of you guys agree with him than agree with me. And I find that baffling. But let's jump right into this matchup. And of course, Mikey will be doing the same matchup. He'll be using his own photos. I'm sure they'll be the same pictures, but he set them up. He's going to be doing his judging. I'll be doing mine. You guys can be the judge of both of them. But judging by this front relaxed position, Coleman has a definite edge. He's taller. He has a wider clavicle. Look at the width of his chest. Bigger set of pecs, of course. Probably an advantage in the quads as well. Thin skin. But Phil Heath battles back with a bigger set of arms. More muscular, perhaps, in that aspect. And the all-important advantage in the ab department. And that is different when you think about Phil Heath. Here's a different one here. Now we use, we're going to be using two different gallery, photo galleries. And there's, there's one with the, you can see the back, the background, the actual background and the one that you can't, you can just see the black, but enough of that explanation. Phil actually looks a lot better in this comparison. Does he not? Look at the midsection here. Now he is using the assets that he has to its full potential. Of course, there is the rear relaxed. And Coleman may have an advantage here. The glutes, my soul. But Phil has an awesome set of glutes as well. And that begs the question, how big do you want your glutes to be? It's not like a delt or a thigh where it's good to get bigger. And it's not like a midsection where petite is the smallest either. A glute should be just the right size. And I think Phil has a better set of glutes. And if you're going to ask somebody on glutes, who else better to ask? Mark's Max Muscle. I love glutes. Are you kidding me? Phil's glutes are better than Ronnie Coleman. Yeah, they're smaller, but like I just explained it. It's not a bicep. It's not an ab. It's a glute. That is the symmetry round. And this is the muscularity round. And I'm not exactly going to be delivering points like Mikey's going to be doing in his. I think that's a little immature, is it not, Mikey? I mean, come on, look at all the poses, write everything down, take everything into consideration, and make your final decision at the end. It's a good little surprise for the audience. But here, it is a Coleman shot. I gotta tend to agree with Mikey, as much as I, I poke fun at him, and he pokes fun at me as well. But anyway, YouTubers have to do that type of thing. You gotta compete. Ronnie Coleman, there's no competition here. Here's the, the next one here, and I'm... Uh, this one here, Phil does look a little bit better. And Ronnie looks a little worse for the wear when you compare their two photos. But still, when you look at the arms, it's boys versus men. Although I must say, food for thought, Phil Heath has a, an advantage in the forearms. You see them forearms? But winning just in the forearms alone is not enough. I mean, that's what Flex Lewis tries. At first glance, Coleman definitely is winning the front lat spread. But as you gauge the actual muscles of these two and you look at the lats of phil he is doing a darn good job but can he beat that wide clavicle of big king coleman i do not know i do not know let's have of course the other shot brought to you by mark's max muscle only yes do you see what i mean there when you look at the actual lats coleman's are creeping in a bit up at the top and Phil displays just big, massive chunks of lats. But still, is it enough? I don't know. It is a very close call. And I think you guys should appreciate that I'm judging it this way rather than just giving a point where there's not one due. Like here in the side chest, Phil Heath is much better, I think. This is where King Coleman, he looks so massive from the front. He's so wide, so just, like I said, massive. He's a monster. But turn to the side, and Phil Heath 
displays a lot of thickness. I mean, on the display alone. Of course, the lags look good for Coleman. Here's the next gallery, and Coleman looks good in this one. Does he not? Wow. Of course, Phil looks really good, too. He just looks bubbly. And usually when it comes to the bubbly physiques, they're not as hard and vascular and grainy. But Phil is hard and grainy. Look at, just take a close look. No, he's not as hard as the 0.3% body fat Ronnie Coleman. Mm -hmm. I'm negative mm, body fat. Mm -hmm. Anyway, of course, they're, they're pretty close probably when it comes to that. But still, I have to tend to lean towards Phil in the side chest. Side tricep? Come on. I'm sure Mikey's probably going to try to give this one to King Coleman. He calls it, what does he call it? Pancake time? He stole that phrase from me anyway. That's my saying. You know that? I got copyright on that. Well, Don't quote me on that one, guys. You know me. You know me. I'm just joking. I'm joking. Don't get your pantaloons in a bunch, Mikey. That's your saying. Anyway, Coleman would, of course point to his tricep mm, mm, Kim, mm, Kim, give me give me a loss in this one mm, it's good and strided mm, it's good and strided he'd keep pointing to it and he'd he'd tell the judges it's good and strided doesn't matter phil heath always gonna win this pose between these two the back development will not be quite so easy of a victory for ronnie coleman i love getting into these ones difficult to say though man both are showing advantages in other aspects from each other. Of course, Ronnie has the width. He's a monster. Nobody can deny that. Look at the legs. Just fantastic, as well as the glutes. But Phil, he has that lower lat thickness. You cannot beat that. It's just unbelievable. Here's another one. Oh my goodness, I get so excited. <laughs> I don't know, man. It almost looks as if it's going to be a Coleman victory in this shot. He is just, like I said, too big. He's massive, guys. He's massive. It is a close one in the back shot because Phil has just acres of thick, raw meat in those lats and in the bottoms of the traps. But when I look at the mountainous traps of Coleman, I dare not even mention that word. So much to my reluctance and much to Mikey's pleasure i'm sure ronnie gets the rear lat but when it comes to the rear double bicep it's a different story you notice how well proportioned ronnie was in the back development for his rear lat when it came to his legs just perfect proportions but it seems his back fades away in the rear double by it's not definitely not as wide of course he has those arms massive phil appears to be a little bit more perfect in the shot Actually, in this one, his glutes appear to be drier as well. Here's the second shot. And when it comes to hamstrings, I don't think anybody was as dry as King Coleman. But you can definitely see a little bit of an asymmetry in the lats of King Coleman. And it was close in the rear lat, guys. Let's face it. And it's close here in the rear double by. Both back shots... Could go either way. I'm leaning towards Ronnie in the lat. I'm leaning towards Phil in the rear double by. But don't kid yourself, guys. It's debatable. Both back shots. Even Mikey would agree that Dr. Phil is getting an advantage in the ab and thigh department. I don't know what it is about Ronnie's midsection. Not very sightly at all. Not aesthetic. It's like... It's a bubbly four-pack and then flat on the bottom. They can't explain it. Either way, the doctor doesn't have the best set of abs in the world either. But in my opinion, much better. Let's have another one here. And wow, see Ronnie Coleman in this version? That's incredible. It's definitely him. It's 1999. There's no doubt about that. I can tell by the picture quality. But there's something I can't quite put my finger on. Hmm. That's Flex Wheeler. I knew it. Ronnie is disqualified from the Abanthai. I'm just joking. He would have lost anyway. He is disqualified from the Abanthai. Phil automatically gets the point. Ronnie has cut his own head off. And obviously Flex Wheeler's too. 
and he's stuck his own head on Flex Wheeler's body, and for some reason it worked. Anyway, enough of that foolishness. Phil gets the point. It is very close in the most muscular, creating that all-important and elusive controversy in bodybuilding. Thin skin, conditioning, that chest development, just the size, the lags, all goes to Coleman. Phil Heath, he looks like a pig face here. Squeal! Squeal! Anyway, his arms are massive, he is muscular, he is stout. And he has the advantage in the ab department. Still, though, Coleman, Coleman, Coleman. Another shot here. It's the same picture, different shot with the camera. I call it a shot because that's what photographers call it, I think. Coleman definitely winning in the pecs. There's no doubt about that. And his arms might not be as big in this, in this display, probably because of the triceps, the massive triceps of Phil. But still... I have to be unbiased when I do this, guys. And even though I'm rooting for Phil, doesn't matter. I've given losses to Robbie Robinson. He's my favorite bodybuilder of all time. You have to judge these fairly. And I'll be fair, Coleman is getting this version of the most muscular. But there is another one, and it can cancel it out. I'm not going to give two points for two versions of most musculars. They generally get them to hit as many as they can, and then give an overall winner at the end and judging by this one it is another difficult decision this is pecs versus arms the pecs go to coleman and the arms go to phil a very 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 close decision guys no matter what way you look at it Cor i could easily say oh i'm going for the doctor just because i want him to win and i'll be right and mikey will be wrong but you know, here's another one here same pose Wow, look at the delts on, guess who I'm going to say, on Ronnie. I mean, Phil's are massive, huge, but Ronnie's look more like real muscle. You see that? Of course, the pecs look pretty good here for Phil Heath, as well as the traps. Traps look good for Coleman too, maybe even better. But a very debatable and close call in the most muscular. And in retrospect, ladies and gentlemen... This is a very close one, and Mikey said he was going to do 11 poses. Well, I did two pictures for pretty much every pose, so there's a lot of shots. And 9, 11, whatever, doesn't really matter. On a whole, it was close in the symmetry round. The front double, no doubt, went to Ronnie. The front lat was close, so... Trying to cancel that out, as well as the side chest was close, even though I gave a point to each. The side tricep, no doubt to Phil. Both back shots, whether you argue this or not, they were close in both cases. Most muscular was also very close, guys. Ab and thigh, no doubt for Phil. There's two full points as opposed to one for Ronnie in the front double. So ladies and gentlemen, it's a close call. I'm not going to gloat with this one because Mikey could be right. But doing the math here, I have Phil Heath, 2011, as your winner. In the lineup that I did a matchup before, including Jay Cutler, there was more of a space between them in the certain shots, so Phil was the clear winner. But it was awfully close in a one-on-one -on -one competition, for sure. Well, as much as I was derogatory towards Mikey, I would like to thank him for collaborating with me in this video presentation. Hope you guys enjoy both of them, in fact. Go ahead and hit thumbs up on this one as well as his. Subscribe to his channel as well as mine. All bodybuilding channels are good for the sport, guys. It promotes it. It's all good. Every one of these channels. And the more, the better. Anyway, this is reaching 15 minutes, guys. Go have your protein shakes if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel, like I said, thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram. Don't forget, have a fantastic day.